hello hello guys welcome to today's video thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here my name is Raquel please if you like videos like they talk about luxury luxury video unboxing you're gonna like here subscribe press the red button and please like the video to support so today guys like as I in the title I'm gonna share bags from each brand more than 10 brands 13 brands that if I need to start my collection today I would pick uh, one bag for each brand is example like my collection is gone I gotta start and I gotta pick one bag for each brand what bag I would pick and a little bit of why so the video don't be too long but if you like it to know what bag from each brand I would pick to start the collection my collection for the zero keep watching okay I'm gonna start like with the brands that like it's just I don't have no bag from this brand and I would just to start my collection if to have kind of a variety so I would pick a little bit one for these brands just to have it I don't think I'm gonna add these brands to my collection yet because I don't think I would expend this money yes I it's just for the sake of the video I think this brand is kind of not on my radio yet uh, let's start with the Loewe, 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 everybody say the name is different, so Loewe for me. <laughs> for the Loewe, I was going to start with the Raffia Tote, uh, with like the brown and the Raffia, like because it's more a beachy bag, a summer bag, I would love to add this type of bag to my collection, but not sure yet. But for the sake of the video, if I will start today and I need to pick a bag from this brand, would be this one. Don't like the puzzle bag if you also my previous video. The puzzle bag is just not for me. But this one is a bag that I would consider. Next is Burberry. Burberry is a brand I think nobody get too much bag. I think it's more a wear to wear type of brand or scarf like winter everybody know the Burberry for the coat but the, for the coat and I do have one <laughs> for the coat and stuff I think is they trying to put the bags and stuff out but it's not much know it but I do like the totes if I need like a tote and I pick like a different bag from the other brands. I would pick a tote from the Burberry and my friend do got one and I think it's pretty nice. I think it's really underestimated a little bit. A lot of people underestimate the Burberry so I would pick this tote. Next brand is Valentino and for you guys know I do not like the bag. I do not like the stud and that like that but for this one I would pick the bucket bag with the stud it's gonna be just for have a fun bag and a bucket bag. I don't want a bucket bag and I don't want no bag from Valentino. But if I would pick a bag from Valentino today, I think the only one that like I have a little bit liking would be a bucket bag. That is a new, little bit fun, summery bag and a fun color just to have a bucket bag and to pick it because of the brain. <laughs> Next is Versace. Versace, I don't think like they have a bag that everybody know. They come with the bags here and there. But I guess I would take like this small La Medusa handbag. That's just the name of the bag. Uh, and a um, nice colorway. Or maybe even in like a classic black with the gold. was going to be nice because everybody know it's Versace. I don't know if this bag going to be too much trendy. But for the what I see from Versace right now, that's the only bag that catch my eyes a little bit. I would pick those. Next, Balenciaga. Of course, I would take the Hourglass. If you don't saw my previous um, review, I'm going to link up here. Love the Hourglass. Mine in a limited edition, but I just love the bag. And it's my favorite. I don't see Balenciaga, a lot of Balenciaga in my collection, but as I have this one definitely would take again in the classic or the one with the, the little uh, shiny whatever like a nice cute one next Bottega I was really like between the pouch and the jewelry but yes I think the mini jewelry gonna be forever with us 
uh, right now it's gonna be like a, it's definitely a statement piece for Bottega they was good like for the big chain and the pouch that everybody know but I think the jewelry is their piece and I think I would definitely in the near future get it a mini a mini jewelry bag uh, I think it's super cute. They have a different nice way. I think the only thing is missing is the strap like crossbody or shoulder strap and I believe I saw they coming out with it so could be one of my bags in 2023 so that's need to be on my Bottega the mini Jody. Next from Prada of course I would take the 2005 re-edition 2005 in the leather one I was gonna take a nude or a red I think Prada is knowing for the red is definitely with the matching shoes or stuff like that and for the leather is a little bit of a trendy piece but of course you can use only the shoulder strap you can use the thick strap or you can add your strap but I think this would be the piece I take from Prada. Next from Celine, uh, from Celine I would take the, the luggage nono or mini. I think the, the uh, this bag is a piece from the, is knowing, like I think Celine is knowing a little bit more for this bag so I would definitely get it this one. I love the way it look. Yeah, I don't have it in my collection, nothing from Celine, but if I would add these days, it would be this one in the mini or nono side. I love it. I would take like a yellow, a green, red, I don't know, but I think the mini is the perfect size, so I would take the mini. Next, YSL. I do own two YSL. I love my Lulu, and I have the classic like an wall on chain but I been wanted this small Lulu bag I think it's coming to my collection soon too because I really like this bag the way you can double chain or crossbar the strap uh, sizing is pretty nice I think if I need to start today my collection and of course have no budget or nothing like that would be the small Lulu Next, I'm gonna say Fendi. Um, my first Fendi was the baguette. I think the baguette is like the baguette and the peekaboo is the Fendi face bag. But I would take the newest one, the Fendi first. I just think like it's a beautiful bag. It's not on your face, nobody knows. I think none of your the Fendi bag is too much, only the one that have the uh, the FF logo, but I think they pretty settle, but I love how classic So classy is the fan for it how you can use the part crossbody and is Coming to my collection soon. So the friend first is my pick next from Gucci and this is gonna be a little controversial because this is a classic and I don't think it's a lot of people cup of tea but I do like the small or mini, not the too small, I think, not the the little, the smallest one, but I think the small Diana bag. I think right now with the little strap that you can leave it on, take it off, like neon strap is really nice, but the Diana is a classic from Gucci and I would love to own one one day. And from this one, I think right now, I don't see, a lot of bags that I like from Gucci. It has some like little small, but I think I would go for a classic for my first one. And with the bamboo and everything, I think the Diana would be my first pick. Uh, my hair is about to die. Okay, let's go fast. Uh, next from Louis Vuitton, I would definitely get it a cappuccino in a in an exotic skin. I think it's beautiful. Maybe an alligator, ostrich, or even lizard. Cappuccino, it's a beauty. Pricey bag for the brain, but it's a beautiful. I would take even regular leather, but I really want to add uh, a cappuccino to my collection. And if I need to take it right now, anything from the Louis Vuitton, I will take a cappuccino. No never full, no speedy. A cappuccino, I think, is the perfect starting bag if you don't have no 
budget next from chanel i think is chanel have a beautiful piece and a little bit of everything but i would go for the it's a medium large classic it's just the classic i would not take black and i would not take gold hardware i would take like something lighter maybe the beige with the silver hardware even maybe the black but with the silver hardware i think the gold age the bag a little bit too much and i do have a dual with the gold i wish i could change so if i could it was going to be with the silver hardware and like the classic beige or a little lighter color next from dior i would love to own and i hope so so my first bag would be the dior tote i think the tote is the perfect bag especially right now like the smaller size for me i would love up on soon i put on my wish list and i love the the dior i do love the the lady dior is i love this small i do own the mini and i love this small but for the sake of this video i would love to own uh the, the book tote the last one guys of course <laughs> Hermes for Hermes I do want a bargain but I would prefer for my first bag and if I need to start right now get a Kelly uh, I wish I put the Kelly first on my wish list and then the, the Birkin but yes yeah, are better but I think the Kelly is just like two and one crossbody top handle classic from the boutique and it's just a beauty and of course any color is just a perfect crossbody top handle bag from the brand in classic so that's it for today guys i hope you guys enjoy please i'm gonna link some people down below to do this video i don't know if a lot of people already did so i don't know if i'm a little late on this taggy video please subscribe and i see you guys in the next video bye